What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yup. It's my long tane. And uh, today, yo, we working on this uh, drop axle. You know what I mean? This is a drop axle. Look at that. It's off the ground. But uh, going to be replacing the tie rod, the complete assembly. So, I want to just replace the tie rod in, but hey, I have to, I had to buy the whole complete assembly, so guess what? We're going to replace the whole complete assembly, you know what I mean? So, this is one of the reasons. The tie rod is pretty much wore out, and uh, the rubber seal is... Uh, busted so no longer holding grease i went on and sprayed some what is that peanut butter and jelly no not peanut butter and jelly y'all it's a uh, some blast or some pb penetrating oil basically anyway i call it peanut butter jelly you know what i mean that's just how i do things y'all know this anyway uh Here's the new one. Yep. There it is. And, uh, yeah. We're going to be, uh, ripping it up. Got the knife ready. So, let me go ahead and, uh, unwrap this. And let's see what it do, baby. There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the other side over there and unravel that too. And there it is, y'all. This is the other end. And uh, y'all can see it is totally different from the manufactured one. The I mean, from the factory. It got this uh, locking clamp right here on the end. Hope I'm getting a good shot of that. There it is. It locks down right here. So it doesn't slide going that way, you know? Uh, these new ones, it's made different because it's a flange right here. So this thing won't go no further down than where it is right there all right deleting that locking mechanism here so all right let's go ahead and uh pull this quarter key and back these th this nut off and uh get this old one off so i got my needle nose and uh just give me a bite right quick And uh, another thing I noticed, that new uh, assembly, complete assembly, did not come with a, a quarter key, so I'm going to have to get some new one of these, because this is completely out of there, completely deteriorated, you know, but I'm going to replace things, y'all, y'all know this, y'all know this already, you know, Set y'all first rodeo. You know what I mean? Let me get something to tap this out right quick. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh loosen up this nut. You will need a 33 millimeter. And uh I just so happened to not bring my half inch socket for my 33 millimeter so i gotta use this torque multiplier socket and extension try to break the sucker loose it is not so let me go home and do this again sunday 
2,000 years later. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and remove this. Uh, this is a 33 millimeter socket. At least that's what I would really need, but I left mine at, at the crib, so we're improvising, y'all. Y'all know how we do it, you know what I mean? It's just a regular old crescent wrench and a cheetah pipe. Just want to get the whole axle to turn and loosen it up just like that. Just want to walk it back and forth and uh, that's another reason why I didn't uh, shoot this down with any peanut butter and jelly so I can show some of you guys and gals out there that uh, you can remove a dirty filthy nut that that's on a thread like this full of mud and stuff without you know using any kind of penetrating oil all right so I'm going to unscrew this all the way and what I'll do is Flip it upside down like so, and we're gonna tap it down with a hammer, all right? We're gonna tap it down with a hammer. Okay, so just, I just got me a little, uh, eight, I think it's like an eight pound, maybe four pound hammer. I don't really know how heavy it is. Uh, it's a four pound hammer right here. I don't know if that's getting picked up. But it's a four pound hammer and uh, just want to beat down on it one time and that basically knocked it on down all right let's go to the other side do the same thing all right so now we're on the other side and pretty much doing the same thing uh notice this one i did hit it with penetrating oil Okay, and I did not clean it again, and uh, like I said, the purpose of that, or the purpose of this is, so y'all can see the difference between the two, that you can do it with or without the penetrating oil. The car key will be coming out a little bit easier with the penetrating oil involved. Go ahead and tap that a little bit more. Just wiggle it lightly. Don't get too crazy. And there it is, y'all. So now we'll go back with our cheetah pipe and our crescent wrench again. This time dialing the axle uh, to the left because we are removing it. Got a different bite on it. All right, get your bite on it and just turn it. Carefully loosening it up. Uh -oh. and remember, you still want to work it with that back and forth motion. Again, take into consideration all the grime and the dirt that's in between the threads and the and uh, you know. Yo, come on now, just work it. And another difference is, uh, I don't know if y'all noticed, I just basically loosened it up with that uh, crescent and uh, unscrewed it on all the way out with my bare hands and my fingers. So again, barely reverse that nut and uh, 
get ready to. I'm going to move it a little bit so I can get a better aim and just tap it down. Yeah, okay, this one needs a couple of love taps, know what I mean? And there it is, y'all. You know, she just didn't want to let go. You know, sometimes they be like that, y'all. Hey, don't be laughing at them boots. Them cats, y'all. Them cats. Them cats. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing on out of here. Uh, you just got to unscrew these, this boat. Alright, just get this thing on off. Uh-oh. We have a problem, y'all. We have a problem. So now the whole tie rod end that's that's coming in through this lower arm is actually spinning. So don't panic. You know what I mean? It's very simple. Now, if you look down here, you got this gap. You see that gap? All you gotta do is get you a little, a little small pipe wrench and put it in there to hold or get a grip of that uh, that tie rod in. Overdid it, y'all. Can't kind of complicate. There we go. All right, and then now you go back on top to your nut and oh man, let go. Get another button, and you just turn it. By holding that pipe wrench and it'll come on off y'all like it's really that simple and uh, I am showing y'all how to do this without the proper tools <laughs> you know to show y'all that you can do it with without the right tool you know what I mean but it is better to have the right tool. All right. So anyway, that's off. Let's go to the other side and remove the other side, y'all. All right. Now let's see if this one will work work its way on out, and it will. We'll go ahead and unscrew that, and uh, now we could go ahead and knock this down and. Uh, I don't intend on using any hammer. We'll just go ahead and uh, put them cats on it. Know what I mean? Anyway, it's down on the ground. Let's go ahead and uh, line it up and set it up. My rib got my boots. I don't know what's the deal with. Today is all about the boots, y'all. We got to give everything the boot. All right, come on, y'all. All right, everybody. So there it is. We got them side by side. All the way over there. All the way over there. There it is. And as y'all can see, yep. Y'all notice that up there. Go back down here. It's lined up evenly right here. You know what I mean? There you go. Okay, maybe this could go that way a little bit. There you go. It's lined up. So, we have a problem. Yep, we do have a problem. Here. The middle bar is a lot longer on the new one than our original. That is the problem. Yeah. Clearly see right there. Here we go on the other side. And here we are on the other side. 
Dug the anus way over there. And, uh, yep. Yeah. We got the wrong bar. Now, there's two things to solve this problem. Okay? One, we can get back with the dealership, Freightliner. You know, let them know, hey, we believe you sold us the wrong assembly, which they claim this is the right assembly because they went off the VIN number of the vehicle, right? So, it's not so much as improvised, it's just common sense, you know. We'll just have to use the, uh, the original bar. And, uh, yep, we'll just remove the old tie rods and screw them into the original bar. And any one of y'all want to buy this longer bar, let me know. I'll measure it out for y'all. And, hey, you know, it's yours. Of course, you got to pay the shipping, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway... With that being said, let me go ahead and uh, remove this. But before we do that, we want to get a link. We want to measure this out and make sure we know exactly how long it is from this end to that end on that other side of that tie rod. All right. So let me do that and I'm going to get back with y'all. All right, everybody. This is the... Uh, tie rod assembly for the drop axle this is the original one so out of option one and option two now y'all know good and well we wasn't gonna take option one so i mean option two my bad we wasn't gonna go for option two so yeah we ended up taking the new one back since it was the wrong uh length and and uh got our money back and uh actually found some tie rods this is the new one and that's the old one see the booth is going off of it that one still got the little cover thing so found some tie rods and uh yeah got our money back for the assembly so now all we got to do is basically screw this on this new tie rod so i'm gonna go ahead and slap some uh anti-seize on it y'all know how i do it you know nothing new all right everybody i got my anti-seize on there so let's go ahead and uh start screwing this in Alright y'all, this pretty much all she wrote. Uh don't forget that uh you have to go to the direction uh these tie rods are, are not your normal or regular righty tighty lefty loosey. You do have to remove them turning to the right and tighten them back down going to the left all right so keep that in mind y'all and now we're gonna go ahead and uh let me go ahead and squeeze this right quick all right everybody so now i got my big channel locks and uh just gonna squeeze the clamp back closed Now I can put my bolt back through there. And of course my lock nut back into position. Like so. All right, everybody. We're going to go ahead and uh, 
This now got clamped down. There it is, y'all. It's ready. So let's get on on it and uh, work on the other side. I'm using two pry bars to open up this clamp. All right. Just like that. As long as you got it loose, you should be good. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, install the drop axle uh, tie rod assembly. Go ahead and pull it down with the earthquake. Go ahead and uh, bend it on up and just beat it down like so. Let's go to the passenger side and uh wanted to share something else with y'all here. So let me get out of here. Alright, so you would have to turn the the tire in. Just like that, you can go ahead and put your nut on. And pull it down. that yeah now don't forget to grease your your new tie rods and on that note remember you can fix it too